Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and we are kicking off a new series today with 2022's external exams looking at Queensland Australia's general maths paper. And the first paper is a simple familiar paper it's kicking off with multiple choice questions. And there was one question in this paper looking at decision mathematics. Now, if you are not from Queensland and you're not from Australia, don't panic. Network theory is pretty much the same around the world. So if you've looked at decision mathematics in any other place, this is the video for you. So let's kick off by having a look at the question. The float time in minutes for the non-critical activity of this project network is, and then we have a picture of a project network starting from collecting ingredients, turning on the oven, preparing ingredients, looks like a recipe to me. Now we don't necessarily need to get into the nitty gritties of what's happening with this recipe. We certainly don't need to cook it, although that could be fun. What we need to focus on here though is that non-critical activity for the network. Now you might be wondering how on earth do you find a non-critical activity? Well if you would remember it's an activity that's not on our critical path. Now to find the critical path we are looking where our earliest start time which is the number in the left hand side of our bubbles is the same number as the number in the right hand side of our bubbles which is our latest finish time. So if we look all the way across this central line here we've seen that the number but it's the same, 003388. So this is our critical path across the middle, which means that watching the news is our non-critical activity and it's the only one we're interested in in this network. And we have to find out what the float time is. Now, if you would recall from some of our previous videos in our Decision Mathematics series, that float time is how much time you've basically got up your sleeve before um, if you take too long watching the news, your recipe is going to fall over. So basically, we've only got 10 minutes to watch the news. And if we go longer than 10 minutes, it's going to upset the whole project. It's tempting to think that the answer is A, because A matches our non-critical activity, but that is not the case. We have a formula that you should have memorized for float time. It is the latest start time, take away the earliest start time, take away the activity time. Now, a nice easy way that I remember this is if we look at this latest start time here, it's the outside of that activity, and then the other side's outside of the activity, take away the middle how long the activity takes. So what we've got is 33 take away 3 take away 10 which gives us a float time of 20 minutes and that means our answer is B 20. And that was the only question on the paper for decision mathematics in the multiple choice section. So did you find it helpful? And if you did, here's some ways you can engage further with our channel. Firstly, you could like and subscribe. You could hit the notifications button so you know when the next video in this series is coming through to you. Tell us in the comments if you found it helpful and why not engage further on Facebook and Instagram. That's where we are on social media at the moment. And if you've got any questions at all, contact me at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.